day 83. Happy Father's Day. So, in the interest of being, I'm, I'm both cheap and lazy. So which one wins out? Because lazy, I'd take the ferry over, but the ferry's $13 one way. I'm cheap. It's only seven miles. I'm going to walk it in. Maybe I'll take the ferry back out and save some energy. But it's only seven miles, man. I'm going to save myself 13 bucks. Plus, the ferry doesn't start till 945. So, I mean, maybe if it was here waiting for me, I'd take it. But there's no way I'm going to wait till 945 because it's, what, like 3.30 right now. But I hear they have breakfast. So, yeah. Definitely gonna walk in and get there before 9.45 and get myself a breakfast. Yeah. Well, after I have my coffee and stuff, you know. I've got fire to cook it on now. Ooh. I like having fire. It changes everything. We don't get enough of them out here. It's a beautiful morning, though. It's not cold. No nothing. No mosquitoes. I'm right on a lake. Oh, man, this, this is pretty good stuff. Stars are a-shining, man. All right, so get my coffee in me, get all packed up, got a little seven miles to do, and there's some breakfast waiting for me. This lake is just really long. That's how they get you on that ferry thing. So far, the climb is pretty mellow. I don't know why there's ups and downs, though. Why don't we just kind of follow the water? But they got us doing switchbacks, or me doing switchbacks. And I don't know why. But, you know, maybe I'll take the ferry on the way back if it's conveniently timed. But, there's no way I was going to sit around for four or five hours. And then pay 13 bucks just to save me a two hour walk. I'll spend that money on a burger. Maybe it's just the same one following me around. Got my eye on you, plant. What is this? Maybe this is where I'll camp when I come by next time. Got my fire pit, benches, homemade table, bear box. Oh, I could use that as a grill. But I already ate my burritos. Nice. Boat campsite, 14 day camping limit. Hey, I can do, yeah, I can do two weeks here. Nice little stuck pile of wood for me. Huh. So if I'm wandering back, if I don't take the ferry, maybe I'll stop here and camp. Okay, that blows my theory away. There's two of them right now. Where are they ganging up on me? Nope, I can still see that one way back there. They're just so bright red, they stand out on any landscape around here because it's just earth tones. Oh, yep, there's another one right there. Yeah. Right, I'm still going with it's a fungus. Oh, another one over there. I've never seen so many of them. What? I'm outnumbered and surrounded. Yeah, I think the same thing as that weird corn thing that grew on the AT. They like, it's a parasite that grows off the roots. I'm sticking with it. From being in the middle of nowhere, that's kind of a fancy bridge. Especially to cross something so little. I'll take it though. That I, well, I could have easily hopped across logs and all that. There's tons of them down all over the place. But I will definitely take a bridge. Breakfast in two and a half miles. Yeah, I knew there was roads leading somewhere around here. We got Porta Johns, bear boxes, cars, and day campers. I'd have hung around to see what the yogi situation was like, but since I'm like a mile away from breakfast, what's the point? I think we've got solar power going on over there. I wonder what that's all about. Can I plug into that thing? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it powers the John. Don't know, but when I started seeing graffiti and trees, I knew that there had to be a road near here somewhere kind of assholes that carve in trees don't really hike. They might walk a little bit, but they're definitely not hikers. Oh, I'm getting there. I took a wrong turn and ended up on some dirt road. 
but I hear a generator off in the distance. And what else out here would have a generator but a resort? Look at that, fancy me, a motherfucking resort? What? That's not that it's a resort though. Grumpy Bears called itself a, no, they called itself a retreat, didn't they? Although I don't know what the difference between a retreat and a resort is. Ooh, finally we're here, let's see what breakfast looks like. I can help work for food plus beer plus, hey. So far, pretty nice place. All the amenities I need. Look, there's even a big TV on the wall. It's not working or anything, but I got my coffee. Um, I'm gonna do some work for stay today, so I don't have to pay for any of this. Yeah, that's right up my alley. I'm gonna be doing some trenching work, so I get to you know use my upper body instead of my lower body for a change. Well, it seems like a pretty nice place. Few too many people here. I think there's tents all over the place and people's all over the place. No, I'm not too big a fan on that. Most of these aren't even hikers anyway, though. Just people, humans everywhere. Well, yes, this is where I shall stay. I'm gonna find myself a nice hammock spot and claim it once all these dirty hikers, you know, get their stuff all cleaned up. It's still early for them, you know, it's late for me. I've been up for hours, but you know, these cats are just getting up. Do not take wood. Huh, I've already got wood. Don't need yours. The resort has a really nice lake. That it does. So basically, I am trenching from here, across here, and then all the way up to the building. And that will pay for all of my food and beers. I've already scored a few free beers. There's a bunch of yogi in action going on. I'm not much of a Coors Light fan, whoops, but you know, I have scored a few of them already. Ice and ice cold, I might as well have a little bit of a buzz going on while I dig my trenches. Good upper body workout. I haven't had one of those in a while. Ooh, I should grab my gloves because my hands are delicate. Done digging my trenches. Got my free beers, free food. Now I'm going to take a shower. They got these weird tokens to take a shower with. I don't know how long I get from this token, but I've never seen one like it. But, you know, they gave me a towel. I got my shower poof. Oh, yeah. Oh, sudsy heaven. I need a shower. I don't stink, but I feel pretty dirty. I've been wearing the same clothes for far too long. Uh, I don't know about washing my clothes. We haven't talked about laundry yet, but I'm gonna work that in. I haven't done a whole lot of work. I work for like an hour and a half tops, but you know. When you do these work for stay things, you don't work real long. You work two hours, three hours tops, and then they take care of you the rest of the day. But I told them I'm, I'm open to do dishes and all that stuff. I don't, you know, I really don't mind as long as I keep getting free stuff. Oh man, that was a super good shower. The water was so hot, I could barely stand it. I got all steamed up in here. I haven't been this clean in weeks. I don't even remember the last shower I had that was this good. And the water shut off just in time. I was curious how long I got, I don't even know, but I, you know, right when I rinsed off everything, the water shut down, so it was perfect timing. Ah, so now I'm just gonna kick it the rest of the day, relax. If they got more work for me, I'll take it, but if not, I'm just gonna kick it, relax, rest that foot up, it's looking better already. You know, just a little TLC and I peed on it twice. Urine is the cure. All in all, a good day. Pretty lazy, just laid around, did a whole lot of nothing. I dug a trench for him, like 25 feet or so, but had the proper tools, so it was pretty easy. But as usual, I kind of broke something. Uh, quite often when I do projects, I break something. Um, and they already had conduit buried under there, and you know, I was using a pickaxe because it's rocky soil and snapped right through it. I didn't cut the wire in it, I just broke the conduit, but that's kind of their fault for it not telling me it was there. You know, they mapped out where they wanted me to dig. All I did was dig the hole. But I don't know how much that knocks off my bill. This place is pretty expensive, right? I'm, I mean, I haven't been drinking. I've had a few beers, but they've all been free. Um, I had two meals here, but each meal is damn near like 20 bucks. I mean, you know, this place is pretty fucking pricey, but it's got the word resort in it. You know, that just means pricey, doesn't it? But I'm doing this on the free, hopefully. I mean, we'll see how much they wipe off my bill tomorrow, but you know, I think this is worth, I'm gonna get breakfast in the morning too, don't think I'm not. I raided the hiker box, not much in there, but there was some food in there. Not that I need extra food, but since I'm trying to do this on the cheap, you know, why not carry a little extra food when I find it here and there, if I can fit it inside that stupid bear, because I just got it to where all my food fit in that bear canister. And so, you know, I got a little extra. But, you know, I'm going to sit around here for a little bit tomorrow. I'm in no hurry. There's a peak that I want to sleep at in six miles on trail, but I'm probably going to be cheap and walk back. I'll ask if they'll give me a free ride, 
So I'll take a free ferry ride, but I'm not paying 13 bucks, man. I'll just walk the seven miles. Uh, and then, you know, get to the top of that mountain, sleep there, and rinse and repeat, you know, walk through some snow and shit. You know, it should be exciting. At least from my end. I don't know from your end, man. I don't know how you people watch this shit, but, you know, I appreciate that you do. Day 84. Still kicking it here down at VBR. I gotta leave eventually. I'm all packed up and ready to go. I just don't have the will or the really the need to leave yet. I'm only gonna be doing 12-ish miles. So I, I can kinda wait. I weighed my pack. It's 46 pounds. And I've been on it for like, what, four days? So that's eight pounds of food I've eaten. I mean, I carry way too much stuff. I can't wait to get rid of a lot of it. I hear in about 100 miles or so, I'm able to get rid of the bear canister, the ice axe, all that stuff, a bunch of clothes, because, you know, it's not nearly as cold here as I expected. Not even close, a little chilly at best. Just kicking it on the beach now, huh? Just being lazy, man. My blister seems pretty nice. It's all hardened and calloused over. So it looked gross, but it didn't feel bad. So good thing, you know, I didn't want a, some sort of foot infection. That's the last thing I need. My knee still hurts. You know, not that I'm complaining. It only hurts sometimes, not really when I'm hiking. So I don't pay it too much mind. I, you know, sleep with it elevated, stuff like that. And it seems to be getting a little better, but you know, it's still a little jacked all at the same time. So anyway, I'm gonna relax. Head up the trail later, I think. This is the trench they had me dig. A good, I don't know, 30, 40 feet, six to eight inches deep. And those motherfuckers only comped me one breakfast for that. So like $13 or so was all I got for that amount of work. That's pretty much bullshit. I mean, you know, I'll take it because it's what I got. But that's pretty much bullshit. So I ate three meals here and had a chocolate milk. And I ended up paying 60 bucks for that. Totally not worth it. Now that, now that it's all said and done, I'm not happy I came here. I was happy before, but I figured I'd get three meals out of it. You know, that's, that's a decent amount of work. Three meals isn't much to ask for. And I was trying to get a free ferry ride too, but they wanted to charge me for that, so I'm walking out. Yeah, BBR, fuck you. Since I couldn't score a free ferry ride, even though it would cost them nothing, cheap bastards, I'm off, but it's a little late in the day. It's like three o'clock. People started buying me free beers, so you know, I'm forced to hang out and drink them. So I'm probably not gonna make it to where I wanted to make it, but fuck it, I'll make it as far as I want to. So in hindsight, I definitely would not recommend VVR. It's not really worth a place going to for the prices and the quality and quantity. Uh, like last night for dinner, I was joking because I didn't even think I was paying for it, but I got a $19 chicken breast. All right, but it wasn't even a chicken breast. It was the meaty chub part, uh, but where it gets thinner and spreads out, that you can tell they cut that off and use that for their chicken fingers. So you're just getting this little chub of overcooked meat for $19. There's some baby food spread out on it and some rice. Uh, not even close to being filling. You know, like at Grumpy Bears, I'd get a burger and fries that was way more filling than there at like seven, eight bucks cheaper. You know, the breakfast at Grumpy Bear is far superior. It was all I could eat for one thing, but you know, just the normal meal, because I never went back for a second, was more than enough to fill me up. Here, I was still hungry afterwards. At least there was bottomless coffee, but that bottomless coffee was three fucking dollars. Uh, so, yeah, and I probably wouldn't be annoyed if I didn't have to pay for it, you know? Like, you know, I, I dug them a 30 foot, eight inch deep trench, and all I got was one freaking breakfast? That's. That's just ripping me off. You know, in hindsight, I keep thinking I should have been like, well, fuck you, I'm not paying for anything because I have a little wall of shame that they put you on if you don't pay. And like, put me on your wall of shame. Shame on you taking advantage of hikers like that. And yes, I should have asked what the deal was, like what exactly do I get? But I'm not that kind of guy. I expect you to give what I deserve. Well, I hope for it and generally I get that or sometimes even more so, but not here. These cheap, stingy bastards just want to suck all our hiker money down and just gobble it all up. And I ain't got money to burn, baby. That's why I'm walking out, because they wouldn't even give me a free ferry ride. They cost them nothing. The ferry's already going, you know? Anyway, anyway, back to the trail. Well, hell, I took the wrong trail for about two miles, so this adds four miles to my day. But at least it's all downhill. I already did the uphill. 
Um, you know, normally I'd probably just keep going with it that connects to the PCT or the John Muir Trail at this point. But I don't want to miss any of it, so I'm going back to where I came from and going the right way. Because I'm cool like that. I'm not going to make it nearly as far as I anticipated this morning, but I anticipated that I wouldn't make it as far as I anticipated. Because I know me. So there is that one cool camp spot right on the lake that has benches and stuff built. Nice fire ring. I'm probably just going to stop up there and say screw it. Sounds like a plan for now. I didn't notice this on the way in. But there's an old ewe. Privy. With toilet paper strewn all around it. Go roadie. See how horrible it is. Tigers still use it. Oh my god, it's little flies. Oh, it doesn't look recent. Which is just filled with gnats. They're not even flies. Or maybe they're mosquitoes. I don't know. Nothing attacked me. No, nope, no. Nope. But I am at my campsite. So that technically makes it two zeros in a row. Even though I've walked miles, none of them were on the trail, so it does not count. This is my lovely place for the night. Got all sorts of homemade stuff. And wood to burn. In my badass fireplace. With benching all around. Look at this shit set up for the woods. Nice. Figure out which trees I'm going to hammock between. June 19th, day 85. It's a pretty damn nice morning. I'm just lazy. It's probably taking me almost two hours to get ready today. Don't even know why I'm just moving in slow motion. I'm not tired or anything. I'm just, well, lazy. Still not on trail. No, that I'm not. I'm probably like two miles away from trail. Uh, but it's a leisurely six up and over a mountain. Uh, I still got a couple passes to go, but they're supposed to keep getting easier and easier, which is a good thing and a bad thing. I did like the adventure of a scary frozen pass ahead of me. But at the same time, you know, still kind of sucks. So do mosquitoes. Yeah, everything kind of sucks, doesn't it? Well, not everything. Well, but a lot of things. But that, that's life, man. That's life. Uh, I'm getting close to Mammoth. Uh, I think I'm only like 30-ish miles away or so. I got way too much food, but I just keep storing it. Every time I find it, I'm squirreling this shit away. But, you know, my back's getting stronger. And I'm about to send home a bunch of weight in 100 miles, so, you know... I'm going to feel like I'm slack packing all the time or an ultra lighter, but no, no, I got a lot of stuff, but you, know, you get used to it, I guess. Uh, I'm just standing around here talking just because I don't want to walk, I'm pretty sure, so turn off the camera and get walking, dude. You got a job to do, miles to make. Finally back on the trail. Man, it was a little bit farther than I thought it was. Well, kind of twice as far. I thought it was about two miles away. I think it was four-ish. So the sun's been up for a while, or at least light in the sky. I'm gonna take a break, cause that stick needs to be sat on. But yeah, it's been a minute, so I'm gonna rest, relax, and then go try to tackle this mountain. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go tackle this mountain pass, this pass, cause there won't be any snow on it. Pretty sure of that. I mean, it is the middle of June for Christ's sakes. Looking at the maps, I'm 28 miles from where I want to be. That's the junction that leads into Mammoth Lakes. Finally, I'll have service be able to, you know, upload some things. It's been a while since I've been in communications with the world. Some weird stuff's happening, though. It's been happening for a while. I'm having auditory hallucinations. Ever since I entered the Sierra. Well, not ever since. A few days in. I think it's the altitude, but I don't know. I've been hearing indistinct conversations in the distance where people wouldn't be, men's voice, women's voices. But, you know, I want to play it off as, you know, water, wind, things like that. I've heard a lot of water being sucked down between rocks and it makes burbling noises that could maybe sound human from a distance. Yeah, you know, I play it off, but, uh, I don't know, less than a week ago, I was camping by that slide rock area and I heard people whispering right outside my tent or my hammock. And the sun was still up. I had just laid down in there. I wasn't asleep yet or anything, but I heard people whispering and it gave me the chills. It like creeped me out, but I knew there was nobody around me because I, I was in an area filled with pine cones. Like tiny little pine cones just everywhere. So they would have made crunching noises on their way up. So I didn't even bother like taking off my 
because uh, I had this over my eyes so I could block out the sun. Didn't bother looking out. I knew there was nobody there, but still, I heard him whispering and it seemed nefarious in their whispers, even though I couldn't make out the words. Uh, right now I was hearing car doors slam off in the distance, but there wouldn't be car doors around here, but that's totally what I was hearing. Maybe I'm losing my shit. Maybe I already lost my shit. I always was a little mad. But I doubt it. I don't know. I'm blaming the altitude. So I got an easy climb. Six little miles to the top of this thing. <sighs> no big deal. Um, and then it's just ups and downs for the next 28 miles. You know, just a little, little curvy action. So let's see how close we can get. Maybe I might luck out and be in Mammoth for breakfast tomorrow. Kind of doubt it, but eh, that's the goal. Yeah, it does. Man, I'm getting my feet wet. I don't really see any viable way across that I can, you know, do the whole thing without getting wet. I can get like most of the way, so. Damn it, this is my last pair of dry clean socks. I just put them on yesterday. Oh, only 20 something miles to go. I can handle that. It's gonna be cold though. It's all early. I can't see my breath though, so I guess that's not too cold. Do it, get done over with. Mama. Uh, not so bad, not so bad. Just enough to hurt. Uh, oh, it's deep right there. And I survived. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Ouch. They want me to get my shoes wet again. I'm going to try going across this part right here. Hope those rocks aren't too slippery. And not get my shoes wet. That's the goal. And I guess I'm getting near the top. Oh, yeah, I see some sky. So I'm getting close. As with everything, the closer I got, the scarier it looks. But I'm committed. Okay, I totally pumped out. I'm just going to get my shoes wet. I got kind of scary, a little dangerous. And I'd rather just have wet shoes than, you know, fall in and lose all my technology and pride. Sweet ass waterfall. They're easy enough to cross. Man, I'm hearing shit again. Something about the blue water is just magical to me. This one's really clear. I can see down deep. I mean, I don't think this thing goes any deeper than like 15, 20 feet. Hard to tell though. I was wrong about the no snow thing, but there's not a lot, but it's steep what there is of it. But I think it ends right over here. And it's squishy enough to where I'm making my own footprints right now, but I'm not sinking in because it's already kind of packed down. But the passage is supposed to just keep getting easier and easier after this. According to these cats up here, the place I want to turn off is only 18 miles away. It's a different place, but they say it has a trolley. It's only a three mile hike to it. That's not bad at all. Here's a guy with neon short shorts on. Yeah, a little hydration vest. Awesome. <laughs> For being all remote and whatnot, I mean, these people put some time in, made some really nice stairs. These aren't the only ones. There's been tons of them. I mean, it's just so far out. Moved huge boulders into a river to give us stepping stones. I mean, big boulders. I uh, totally appreciate the work you guys are putting into this, man. This is one thing I find annoying about this trail. I don't really know where I'm going. I just kind of follow the path. The path. So when you start just calling them Tully Hole and Cascale Valley, I think that doesn't mean anything to me. I don't know which one I'm headed to. So now I gotta sit down, look at the map. I think it's this way because it looks more well-traveled. 
I mean, that one does look well-traveled too, but this one, I'm, I'm going with my gut on this one. And, you know, I'll check the map. Oh, man, I am wore out. I've already done about 20 miles today. Not all of them count, because if you remember, I started off about four miles shy of PCT. Oh, I still got another, I don't know, three or four to go before the campsite I want. And that's just because that campsite, out of all the others around it, happens to dip just below 10,000 feet. Which means I can have a fire. Oh, fire. That changes everything. I would love to be sitting around a fire right now. Oh, cooking up a nor rice side. Mmm. Shit, anything. Just sitting down next to a fire would be nice right now. But... I got another uphill before that's done. I have no idea where it is either. I mean, I'm surrounded in big mountains. I got no idea which way the trail is actually going to go. I mean, I'd like to assume we could only go out between these mountains, but I've, I've learned my lesson on that. I'm, I'm wrong every time I assume where this trail goes. Oh, hopefully it's not mosquito territory, because there has been a lot of that today. Those things have been ferocious. I was sitting at one spot smacking them. And they're dropping to the ground and the ants are just picking them up and carrying them away. And I'm thinking, good, I hope they're still alive because some of them do live through it. Hope it fucking hurts while those ants are eating them. Damn mosquitoes. I know they're just doing their job. But you know what? That's what Nazis say too. Damn it. We don't like those either. Fuck Nazis. Fuck mosquitoes. They can all burn in hell. Kind of funny. All the lakes around here have been nice and blue. This one is called Purple Lake. But it happens to be green. The one green lake up here is called Purple Lake. I expected it to be so blue that it was purple. I know, aquamarine at best. I can hear rocks falling from way over there. Maybe a mini avalanche is going on. But I can't see any movement. Well, that's lame. I was hoping a chunk of the mountain would just break off. Break. Damn it. Break. Oh well. I was way over on those snowy mountains earlier today. That's where I had lunch. And now magically I'm way over here. It's about to be a badass. So I'm on the downhill approach, which means I'm getting pretty close to the campsite. But the problem is that campsite only holds I think three tenths according to God hooks. And that's the only one I can legally build a fire at, so I don't really care how many tents are there. I'll just squeeze in somewhere and build me a fire, man. I ain't walking to the next one because that's miles past that. I've had a long enough day. I think my day today is going to be 26 miles, but four of them don't count. So, it's not a bad day, all in all, for our, you know, a guy that's twice the age of half the people out here with a pack twice their size. And I guess I'm lucky being able to pull 20s through the Sierra because you know, most people are fighting their way through snow or mosquitoes or all that stuff. I'm just getting a little bit of each. Just enough to make this entertaining. Whew. All right, almost there. Find myself in this really nice meadow that is not filled with mosquitoes at this point, so. I don't know why, maybe it's too high in elevation. It's definitely not too cold for him. But I don't know. I okay, my camp shot should be around here somewhere. I'm getting close. So I don't have to worry about too many people being there because there are trees around. I have to worry about the tree thing. They just disappear at certain elevations. But as long as I got these bad boys, I can hammock pretty much anywhere. So I am set. I just need to find, find a nice place to build a fire. Nice, another bridge. Been bridges all day. Well, not all day, but there's been like four or five of them. I'll take that. Oh, I ain't filtering this stuff either. Still Giardia free somehow. But yeah, I'm gonna keep risking it. When you're up this high, the water is pure in my opinion. 